Welcome to our channel. My name is Oral McKenzie, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how exactly to upload your website for hosting to iPage. On this channel, I teach social media marketing and help you solve your everyday tech problems. You know, I like sharing my knowledge with you because I strongly believe that knowledge is power and I want to empower you all. So if it's your first time here, i love for you to subscribe to our channel. If you're always wondering how exactly to upload your files correctly to any web housing, this video is for you. So all you got to do is stay tuned. So um, for iPage, they have their own um, FTP uploader where, where you can use it to upload your fi own files to their hosting. But I don't particularly like it. I don't use it because it takes a long time to upload the files. So what I do is that I download my own and upload the files. So what I use is this. I use Win SCP file uploader to upload my files to the website. I find that it upload the files very faster and it's very easy to use. So you can download it and use it to upload your website or any other files that you want to upload to the internet. So when you just log into the back end of your site, you first will have to create an FTP username and a password. And to do that, all you have to do is just double click on right here. And it will take you to a page looking like this. And all you have to do from here is to put in your username. So I'm putting in my username right now. What you want to enter right here is the password you want to create. So you put in your own password. You want to enter your password twice. And you want to leave right here blank. And all you have to do from there is to click, click create FTP user. A FTP username is Oral Mackenzie and just created. So from here, you just click login, click OK. And click login again and right here you're going to have to re-enter your password so if you notice right now i'm re-entering my password so i'm just typing in my password right now so i'm re-entering my password and as soon as i finish re-entering my password i'm going to click ok so i click ok and it's going to log in log me in on the left one on the right hand side on the left hand side you want to delete any unnecessary thing that you don't want so i'm deleting this unnecessary file that i don't want to upload and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Any file that I don't want, I'm going to delete them. So the left hand side, to, to, to upload everything from the left hand side to the right hand side, all you have to do is just to highlight it. Just highlight all your files from your computer and just drag them across to the right side and they will be uploaded to the host. So after that, I'm going to click OK and everything will start loading up. If you notice, the files will start loading up to the website now. So while the files are loading up, I just want to let you know that the left hand side is the side that is your computer that is not live and the right hand side is the live side where the files are going to be uploaded to. After you finish uploading the files, all you have to do is to click on file manager and it will take you to this page. So that is, this is what your files will look like after you finish uploading them. So if you notice, you can actually edit your files from here as well as you can actually delete your files from here. So let me show you. So this little pencil icon right here is what you can use to edit any of the page. And this one here you can use to preview the page and this you can use to download the page. So you can actually edit any one of your page and then preview them and, and you can download them if you want. If there's any file that you don't need that you have uploaded that you didn't need, you can just click, check, click in the checks box and click this red icon right here to delete it. So I'm just gonna click it now and delete that file. So delete that file and then you want to click and delete and delete it so this is actually pretty cool as soon as you edit the page you can actually um preview it and then you can refresh to save it and it will be live right away so you can actually edit from within the host so it's pretty cool so that is basically how you would do it so let me just um type in my page you now to show you guys that it has been uploaded and it's working properly so I'm just going to type in my domain name, my domain name www.socialmedia.com and then I'm going to hit enter 
or we're just going to wait to see how my page look under the web live that i've just uploaded and it's actually loading we're going to give it a few more seconds there you have it the page is upload and everything look good on it let me check on if all the pages are working and all the pages seems to be working just fine everything is actually fine on it so let me see the contact us page if that is actually working also so click on it and i'm waiting to see it upload and it's working just fine also so guys that's basically how would you you would actually do it so if the information i provide to you was valuable and you learned something i implore you to subscribe to your channel hit the like button and actually share this video and if you're looking for more options for video to watch from me you can look on your screen you'll see some more options you can click on one thank you for watching